Well, this little lady, Christina Bontash from Romania, just four feet five and a half inches tall, the Romanian junior champion. And we know that the Romanians are a bit special at the moment. World team champions. Providing the world champion with Aurelia Dobre. And that's certainly a tremendous start from this little waif. Where does she get the power from? And what an opener, 9.8. And Olga Bicharova from the Soviet Union, world champion in 81, European champion in 83, now 21 years old, and gracing us with another appearance. Not quite the gymnast that she was, but she can still turn out a Sukahara straight and score 9.5. So, after the vault, the former world champion, Olga Bicharova, trailing in sixth place. Christina Bontash of Romania leading with 9.8 from Fandi of China. Karen Hage chairing third place, and Lisa Grayson is lying seventh. And composed, ready for her asymmetric bar routine, Bulgaria's Boriana Stoanova. She was fifth after vault, and this her second discipline. A little stuck in the full pirouette on the top bar, but a very difficult skill. A second pirouette and flight over the bottom bar. This is what the judges are looking for. Variety of skills on both bars. Flight over both bars. There, the giant circle, which comes from the men's high bar. And a shoot front this one. An extremely clean routine there. And a good score, 9.45. The leader in the competition so far, Romania's Christina Bontash, very tiny little girl, having to use a board to leap over that bottom bar. Full twisting giant as it should be done straight into a catch up. Tremendous strength. And a beautiful rhythm, and this is something the judges are very impressed by. Another ginger. Men's release and catch moves, another full twisting giant, a really action-packed routine, full of difficulty, excellent stuff. Well, this is the first time I've seen this little girl, but already I'm prepared to bet that we're seeing a future champion in the making. She really is an amazing gymnast. 14 years old, too young to even be considered for the Romanian team for this year's Olympics. But she really is something. And another 9.8. Andrea Hulova from Czechoslovakia. Just managing the full pirouette. These gymnasts are tremendously experienced and they've learned to try and cover up their mistakes. Delchev on the high bar. The method in which they travel from the top to the bottom bar becoming more and more complicated as the years go on. A tall girl but managing to perform clean giants and finishing with a good double back. Some very high scores today, another 9.5. And China's Fan D. This little girl brought shrieks from the little girls in the audience as they watched her warm up. A tremendous asymmetric bar worker scored 10 in the world championships on this exercise. Lying in second place. Brilliant technician, forward giants, and just look at the height of that Jaeger, and another flying swing over the bottom bar. Beautiful straight lines, immaculate technique, and the big dismount, and oh dear, didn't quite release at the right time, didn't top up tight enough, and drop, she says. Lost point five and the lead. What a pity, because it really was a very special exercise till then, but released too early, and uh, <laughs> twisting double back to front drop. 9.4, that shows you what a high score it would have been. In the women's competition, Christina Bontash of Romania setting the pace. She leads from Fan Di of the People's Republic of China, and in third place, Boriana Stoyanova. Britain's Lisa Grayson is sixth, and Karen Hargate tenth. So that's the position here at the NEC in Birmingham. We'll be back shortly.
Bulgaria's Boriana Stoyanova. After the asymmetric bar routine, she was lying in third position, a 9.65 and a 9.45 under her belt. And at 21, she's got a wealth of international experience, and we could see another high scoring routine here. She amazes me as to how cool she is on this piece of apparatus. At times she looks almost sloppy because she's so relaxed. She really is as steady as a rock. Judges can't fail to be impressed with those landings out of the flick flax to lay out back somersault and then the flicks again. Look at that, just one little waver there. On beam, it's only four inches wide, and confidence is the essence. You know exactly where you have to put your feet, and she did there. Double back dismount, extremely positive, and yes, another good score, 9.65. Christina Bontash to the beam, and let's go down to the floor for this one, where Tony Francis and Hayley Price are looking at her in close-up. It's the leader then, Hayley. You can almost put her in your pocket at four feet, five inches. <laughs> She's good, isn't she? Yeah, she's very good. In fact, too young to even compete in the Olympic Games. Um, 14 at the wrong time. Well, 14 in the, the wrong year, yeah. She's not 14 in the year of the Olympics. This is a very steady beam routine she's doing. She's got lots of skills in it. She's going to be dangerous in four years' time, then, isn't she? I think she could be, you know, a star of the future. Unless she grows, of course. I don't think there's much chance of that looking at her. <laughs> What marks her out, then, as something special on the beam? You can see by her attitude in training, she has a superb attitude. She gets in here, gets on with the job. And um, she's just solid as a rock on the beam. That was a free cartwheel into his aerial straight back somersault. Quite an original move on the end of the beam. The Romanians, in fact, are very innovative on beam. They do um, very different stuff. So what's coming now? That's a change leg split leap combination. Some very, very fast dance work as well. She doesn't stop at all. As you say, really solid. Not many wobbles at all. She's extremely difficult on the she's, beam, isn't it? She's extremely confident for a 14-year-old as well. And that shows in her work, very precise. Two back flips into a double back somersault. <laughs> Another outstanding performance from Bontash. Look at this start. Yurchenko on and straight into flick flack. Lay out back, lay out back, somersault. No pause at all. And 9.8 again. Three in a row. This is also a silver medalist on beam in the national championships. It should be a very good performance. She can't actually catch up with Bontash yet, Not even if she gets 10. Not at the moment. I think it's all going to be, you know, whatever happens on the beam. The Chinese are always very elegant on beam. They're a pleasure to watch, in fact. Have you seen her perform on the beam before, this one? I haven't, in fact. This is the first time I've actually seen the whole routine, anyhow. She has a sort of natural grace about her movements as well. We've just seen two back flips into a straight back somersault. Does that make it as innovative as the Romanian? In fact, this is quite an interesting beam routine. Um, the Romanians quite often are a little bit more action-packed, but this, in fact, is almost on par with the Romanian girl. That's a forward roll, which we don't see very often, and it's also quite an elegant movement. That's... Oh, I'm fortunate for this. Spoke too soon. I was just going to say, she's as solid as a rock as well, like uh, Christina. I Not think that well. was... She was offline in the first movement. Very difficult combination, though. Again, a, gain a straight back somersault into a. How many points somersault. could she lose for that? 
that will in fact be 0.5 for the four. So that's putting her way behind Bontis now. Well, she got to perform well at the end. Extremely well on the floor. I can't see her catching up. Double twisting. Back to the top of this mag. Well, we away the floor anyway, perhaps she can do it, because she is very good on that. That's an unfortunate mistake, but she's so lovely to watch. But I'm looking forward to seeing the floor, because she's going to be very graceful on there as well. Wondering what happened to former world champion Olga Vicharova. Well, she's not really having a very good competition. She got her 9.35, quite a respectable score for not a very difficult routine on the asymmetric bars. But it was the beam that gave her the most trouble. And it's this fall on the dismount that gave her only 8.25 and left her out of touch. Oh, with the well, no mistake so far from Christina Bontas. She's led from the start and goes into the final round with 29.4 points, a clear lead over Boriana Stoyanova. Fandi has slipped to fifth, just above Karen Hargate and Lisa Grayson. Join us for the... Boriana Stoyanova to the floor in same place at the moment. world-class gymnasts we've had here today, lying in fourth place, and this is her last piece of apparatus. Bicharova, trailing in 10th place in this competition, but still enjoying her gymnastics very much. Really here for the enjoyment. She's finishing this year, and of course she's a married lady now. Married to Valentin Mogelny, one of the great Russian male gymnasts, a member of their world championship winning team.
as fit as she used to be, so she's struggling a little bit on that last tumble. The elegance is still there, but the fitness is certainly gone. 9.25 for the Chiruba. Sandy to the floor. Not really quite been her competition. Those mistakes on asymmetric bars and beam dropping her to fifth place. But if she gets it right, she is certainly going to be a threat in Seoul. Pulling back out the pipe. Absolute cat like agility. For me, definitely the most complete gymnast to come out of China. They've always been good on the asymmetric bars and the beam, but she's got the power to go with the grace and style and finishes with a 9.8. Well, we've seen two sensational new gymnasts in this competition, Fandi, and if anything, this little girl, Christina Bontash, is even better. In the lead, she's had three 9.8s. Oh, and sky high there again on that opening tumble. Five and a half inches tall, non stop action. And what a prospect for the future, little Christina Bontas is. She had it all agility, strength, and the composure and the ability to cope with the big day. And she's just strung 11 agility moves all together across that floor area. She is going to be a superstar. And there's the score 9.8. And nobody could match that. The Vitalite Champions All Cup going to 14-year-old Christina Bontash from Romania. She led throughout the competition, kept her nerve, and finished a clear 0.8 ahead of Boriana Stoyanova in second place. And Fandi got back into the medals with that wonderful floor exercise. Karen Hargate and Lisa Griffin.